starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Pesky animals. What Jim Teal wants them for is beyond me. Just look at this. Almost all our cabbage ruined. Yeah, cabbage, lettuce, broccoli, all trampled on. I'm going over and give Jim Teal a piece of my mind, that's all, and no charge. So can I come along? You're not hogtied, are you? Hello, George. Yes. Hi. Bye. I want to talk to you, Jim. George, what are you so worked up about? Send down ghosts of yours, that's what. Well, don't tell me they broke out again. That's what I come over here to tell you. You want to see my garden. All chewed up and trampled on. Now I want to know what you're going to do about it. What are you going to do about it? Now simmer down, George. You'll live longer. On what? If I depend on vegetables this year, I'd starve to death. You've got a perfect right to be mad, George. And I don't blame you a bit. Working morning till night and... What did you say? I said you had a perfect right to be mad, and I don't blame you. Oh, well, Jim, I I, uh, I just want to talk about your goats, eh? Yeah, I know. They're a pesky nuisance. Almost wish I'd never bought them. But they sure look like a good proposition. That hospital in Capital City pays me a nice price for the goat's milk. But I just didn't count on needing that special fence. It's ordered. It'll be here in a few days. Well, what are you going to do about it, Jim? Uh, you can't let them run around loose that way. No. Well, first off, I got enough seedlings to replant your truck garden. I'll do that the first thing in the morning. Oh, you don't have to do that, Jim. Oh, I know I don't have to, but I want it. It'll make us both feel better. You see, I figured to use the herd to clear my north 40 while I was putting up the goat-proof fence in the pasture. But the way it's going, they'll cost me more than I'll make. That is, until I get the new fence in. Excuse me, Gramps? Well, it sure looks like you got a bull with a tail or, or a goat. <laughs> Gramps. Uh, don't interrupt you. Please, Gramps, this is important. What is it? Could I talk to you for a minute in private? Now? I'm busy. Well, now, Gramps, please. All right. Uh, Jim, uh, Jeff's got a proposition for you business proposition. Now, it's not going to cost me any money to listen, is it? No, sir. Well, Lassie's a good work dog, and I've heard it cheap before, so why don't you hire us to take care of your goats till you get the fence up? Herding goats and herding sheep are two different things. We can do it, Mr. Teal. I know we can. It's a 24-hour job. That's nights, too. Gramps said it was okay. Oh, he did, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you two dollars and a half a day. If the goats do any damage, you're responsible. And if that's okay with you, Ma, you can start right away. Now, how's that? It's a deal. Good. All right, Jeff, let's get going. So long, Mr. Teal. So long. Hi, Mom, Gramps. Hi. Hi, Mr. Miller, Mrs. Miller. Brought you a snack. Oh, boy, food. <laughs> what was that I heard you telling Porky as we came up? Hmm? About what you were going to spend your money on. Well, I told him I was thinking of buying Woody's motor. I thought we went all through that several weeks ago. Well, that's right, we did. But I still don't see any reason why I can't have it if I want to. Seems to me you're getting a bit too big for your britches, aren't you, young fella? Gramps, couldn't this be just between Mom and me? As a matter of fact, it can't. I don't like the way you're playing me off against her. Now, you told your mom that I said all right. Well, what could she do? Say no? Please, Dad, let me. In the first place, Jeff, Gramps says that the motor's just not worth what Woody's asking for it. He says it's no good. But I've tried it out, and he hasn't. Now, wait a minute until I finish. At least let me... Please, Mom! 
Could I say something? Of course. Go ahead. Well, I figure it this way. It's my money. I've earned it. And if I'm big enough to earn it, I'm big enough to spend it any way I want to. Isn't that right? Well, I... I certainly see your point, Jeff. And I... I won't forbid you to buy the motor. You are getting old enough to make some of your own decisions, but I am your mother, and it's up to me to give you my advice. Now, if you don't want to take it always, well, that's up to you. I just hope you won't be sorry. Well, I brought some sandwiches and a piece of pie for each of you. <laughs> Oh, well, there is one more thing. I did understand you to say that you want the money because you're earning it, didn't I? That's right. Well, from the sounds and looks of things around here, I'd say the money belonged to Lassie. <laughs> Seems to me that you're letting her do all the work. Come on, Dad. Good night, boys. Come on, Mr. Miller. Come on, Mr. Miller. Good night, Mom. Maybe Jim will let you out of the deal. Who said anything about wanting out? That's the way you act. We're just tired, that's all. Well, I brought you some sandwiches and some soup. You eat that and you'll feel better. Yeah, got dinner for Pokey and Lassie, too. You better call him. You don't have to call Pokey. He's right here. No. <laughs> Lassie! Come yeah. here, girl. Come on. She'll never do it that way. Look, there's a rope in the back of the truck there. Go and get it quick. I'll hold her here until you get back. Thanks, never mind packing. Go ahead. Right, give me the rope, quick. He's stronger than I am. And younger, too. Get over here and give me a pull. Now, take him over to the herd before you take the rope off, will you? Okay. <laughs> I gotta go see Jim Teal. Will you, Mom Forky, take over for a couple minutes? Well, what do you think we've been doing? Oh. Go ahead. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Mr. Well, Jeff. I thought you were out mining my goats. Well, Mom, Grams, and Porky took over for me for a while. I just came to ask you a question. Ask away. Well, as long as your field's cleared and your goats are safe, you don't care how I do it, do you? I guess that's about what I'm paying you for. Why? That's all I wanted to know. Thanks. Jeff? Sir? The stuff is here for the fence. I'll have it up in three, four days. Just thought I'd let you know. Yes, sir. Good night. Good night. Oh, 
hold you. Me too. Yes, all of you. Come on. Did you see Jim Keel? Mm-hmm. Did you quit? Of course not. I just wanted to ask him something. And everything's okay now, so you just go on home and thanks for helping me. Go home? Oh, but, Jeff, you need us. Mom, everything's okay. I'll be all right. Yeah, but, Jeff, you see... Uh, you... No, Gramps, look, if I needed you, I'd tell you. Marcy and I will be able to take care of things. Oh, all right, son, if that's what you want. If I need help, I'll send Lassie. Well, all right, honey, I certainly hope you know what you're doing. I do, Mom, I do. Are you sure, Jeff? Yes, I'm sure. Now, go on home. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Come on, Pokey. Dad, I haven't slept for two nights thinking about that boy. Now, how much longer is this going to last? Ah, Jim said it wouldn't be over a week. Besides, it ain't doing him any harm, Ellen. I'd rather give him the $15 out of my house money and let Jim find somebody else to take care of his goats. And then maybe I'd get some sleep, too. And Lassie, that poor dog. Doggone it, Ellen. You're just trying to make babies out of them both. Did you notice last night? Well, she was so tired, she could hardly stand. She didn't even eat her dinner. If Jim Teal's fence material doesn't arrive today, I'm going to... Hi, Mom. Good morning, Gramps. Oh, is breakfast ready yet? I must have overslept. Jeff? Hmm? Where have you been? In my room. When did you come in? Hmm? Stop that, Jeff. Answer me. I asked you when you came in. Last night. Well, where did you sleep? In my room. Uh, say, could I have some breakfast now before I get dressed? I'm awful hungry. Oh, yes, of, of course. And uh, when I'm through, I'd like to show you something over in Jim Teal's field. Both of you. Oh, certainly. Go wash your face and brush your teeth, and I'll have the eggs ready when you come back. Okay, Mom. Well, I wish I knew what this is all about. You'll see in just a minute. Now, I want you to promise me something. Don't look. Just keep looking at the ground till I tell you. Okay? All right. Now, come on. Okay. Now, look at the herd. Oh, Jack. Well, you see, I figured there should be an easier way to keep him from straying and to still have him clear the brush than the way we were doing. So I asked Jim Teal, and he said, okay. Now all I have to do is change their stakes a couple times a day. Oh, and he got his fencing material. He figures it'll take about four days to put it up. That means I'll be able to earn $15 without hardly any work. Well, that's using your head, boy. It was really Lassie that gave me the idea, the way she held the goat with the rope. Well, I guess progress is made by someone figuring out to the easiest way to do a tough job. <laughs> but I got a lot of chores to do now. Good boy. You coming, Ellen? Oh, Mom, there's one thing I don't understand. Oh? What is that, Jim? Well, how come, even though you weren't happy about my deal with Jim Teal, that you and Gramps came out and helped me anyhow when I needed it? One thing just doesn't have anything to do with the other. Huh? Well, what I mean is, in, in any group of society, that is, people living together, all as small as a family or even as large as the nation, well, good neighbors and good friends offer to help in times of need. You coming, Ellen? I can't wait all day. J just a minute, Dad. Let me see. Do you remember that picture of the animals fleeing the forest fire? Oh, you mean the one where the foxes and rabbits and deer and wildcat are running together side by side? That's right. 
You see, in, in times of common danger, even traditional enemies lay down their arms. And well, you and I aren't exactly enemies, are we? I'll be home in a little while. Oh, all righty. Oh, honey. Who is it, Sparky? Well, no, as a matter of fact, for a change, it isn't. Who then? Jim Teal. Uh-oh. I hope all the ghosts didn't break loose. Here, Lassie, guard it. Darn it all. What's wrong now? Add a tobacco. You go shop and get me a can, will you? Oh, I don't mark it until tomorrow. Well, I might have enough to last until tomorrow if I'm lucky. Hello? Oh, Mr. Teal? Oh. Oh, yes. You did? Oh, swell. Then I'll come over right away. Okay, goodbye. Mom, that's Jim Teal. He got his fence up. Took four days, just like he said. He wants me to come over now so he can pay me. Is it okay if I do my chores later? Get them done, as all concerns me. Is it okay, Mom? Of course, honey. Run along. Thanks. Oh, is it okay if on my way home I stop off and run an errand? Porky? No, Woody. Of course, Jim. Goodbye. Five, ten, fifteen. I sure wish I had a thought of that bright idea of yours. It would have saved me fifteen bucks. I'm sure glad you didn't. Well, so am I, as a matter of fact. Because I wouldn't have had time to go out and change them stakes every couple hours. What are you going to do with all that money? You know Woody Tompkins? Sure. Well, he's getting a new gas motor for his bike. I'm going to buy his old one. I suppose you know what you're doing, but if it was my money, I'd sure put it to a lot better use than that. Well, what could be better than having a motorbike? That way I won't have to pedal to school. Oh, Jeff, the way I see it, the good Lord gave a man feet for a purpose. Now, maybe it wasn't just for pedaling a bike, but it most certainly wasn't for sitting up there high and mighty and letting some little putt putting gas motor move you along. Well, gosh. And furthermore, there's no good to money unless it does some good. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I've done my share of preaching for the day. I've got to get into Capital City now and peddle my goat's milk. Well, thanks, Mr. Teal. Let us know if you need Lassie and me again. Oh, uh, thank you, Jeff. Both of you did a good job. Goodbye, Lassie. There's no good to money, unless it can do some good. Of course, a motorbike could do me good. I don't think that's what he meant. It's a tough problem, girl. <laughs> Did I sound like Jeff? Yeah, kind of. Where is he? I don't know. He went over to Jim Teal's a couple of hours ago to collect his money. He's probably trying out that motor on his bike. Mm -hmm. Did he get back from Capital City? Oh, no. Don't tell me he rode that bike all the way to Capital City. Oh, no. He went with Jim Teal. I was supposed to tell you, but I forgot. <laughs> Here he is now. Oh. Jeff, where have you been? Didn't Porky tell you? I forgot. You're a fine one. Here's a present for you. For me? Mm -hmm. What'd I do? Plenty. Mom, this is for you. Sweetheart, what have you done? You look like Santa Claus. I feel like him, too. This rope's to replace what I used up on the goats. Oh, Gramps, this is for you. <laughs> you need, need me to replace the rope, Jeff? Oh, I know I didn't have to, but I wanted to. Of course, Jeff. I'm liking them slugger. Oh, thanks a million. It's a beaut. Oh, and my favorite perfume. Oh, how did you know I was practically out of it? I snooped. <laughs> and, Gramps, I heard you ask Mom to get you some more tobacco when she went to town. Well, thanks, Jeff. If you were ten years older, I'd share it with you. 
Jeff, you must have spent all of your money. That's right, I did. But I had fun doing it. A lot more fun than any old motor. I hope you got something for yourself. You deserve it. Well, not exactly. But I did get something for Lassie. Lassie, this is for you. Oh, Pokey. Don't think I'd forgotten about you. No, sir, not for one minute. There you are. It's Mr. Teal. Pokey. Hi, Mr. Teal. Hello, Hello Jeff, come on. Get on in. Jeff, I figured since you spent all your money on everybody else that you were kind of entitled to something for yourself. Here's a little souvenir that just arrived. Oh. <laughs> and as soon as it's okay with its ma, it's yours for keep. Oh, isn't it sweet? Lassie, look. Oh. Thanks, Mr. Teal. Thank <laughs> you.